Hello everyone, today I'm back with another video, Microorganisms Part 2. Today I'll be talking about viruses, and the video after this, it'll be my called Microorganisms Part 3, that will be talking about protists. Stay tuned for the video. What is a virus? In 1935, biochemist Wendell Stanley obtained crystals of the tobacco mosaic virus. Living organisms don't crystallize, so he concluded that viruses are not living. Viruses are particles of nucleic acid protein and sometimes lipids. Viruses can only reproduce by infecting living cells. Viruses differ widely in terms of size and structure. As different as they are, all viruses have one thing in common. They enter living cells and use their genetic information to infect a cell. It contains DNA or RNA surrounded by a protein coat. Viruses capsid. A virus's protein coat is called its capsid. The capsid includes proteins that let the virus into the cell and trick the cell into making more viruses until it can't anymore. Because viruses have specific proteins that let them bind to only a few kinds of cells, most viruses are highly specialized in what they infect. Lytic infection. An lytic infection, a virus enters a host cell, makes copies of itself, and causes the host cell to burst. First, the virus injects its DNA or RNA into the cell. Next, the host cell cannot tell the difference between its own DNA and the DNA of the virus. Consequently, the cell begins to make messenger RNA from the genes of the virus. This RNA cuts up the DNA of the cell, killing it in the process. And you guys should just read the rest. Lysogenic infection. Other viruses cause a lysogenic infection in which a host cell makes copies of the virus indefinitely. In a lysogenic infection, a virus integrates its DNA into the DNA of the host cell. The viral genetic information replicates along with the host cell's DNA. Unlike lytic viruses, Lysogenic viruses do not lyse the host cell right away. Instead, a lysogenic virus remains inactive for a period of time. Hello everybody, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and please check out my homepage to watch my other videos. I also have a bunch of playlists that I created, please go watch them to gain some knowledge. After this video, I'll be making Microorganisms Part 3, that will be about protists. Thank you for watching.